the UN has called for an immediate halt to the use of facial recognition technology as so they can explore the, I guess, the potential societal su- impacts on civilians, against civilians perhaps. Um, I guess this is in a way an old story in the sense of, um, you know, invasive kind of technology tracking our whereabouts, etc. and what, what can governments do with it. Um, yeah. I guess, you know, it's kind of heightened in an era where, you know, we're having to QR code check into everything. Um, um, <clears throat> there was that story the other week of, um, you know, here in uh, Victoria, police apparently trying to access QR code information for purposes other than um, contact tracing. Mm-hmm. Um, and obviously with uh, facial recognition technology, if there's cameras everywhere and they can scan you, they can um, obviously track your movements and determine behaviours and determine, I guess, what your likely future um, behaviour is likely to be. So um, I guess... Um, there's always been uh, concern around that sort of stuff, I guess. Absolutely, and I'm just throwing a just a you know useless fact, or maybe it is useful. Uh, you know, even with a mask on in Corona environments, uh, it's still at a thirty percent chance of identifying you. Mm. So it's just something worth thinking about. Look, I've never really liked facial recognition. Uh, not so much from a government point of view, but I I just think that the uses. Um, of facial recognition in most cases will actually chip away at at our ability to do things that we take for granted today. And it's not just a privacy issue. It's not really about a surveillance issue. It's just that you won't be able to do things without being identified and that, that has a whole range of things it just means that there will be things that you won't be able to do that you probably do today a little bit sneaky you know sneak in here or go and do this and it doesn't hurt anyone but it's just something that you can do those days are over so Mm. everything that you do you have to remember that when facial recognition is involved it is a transaction yeah because that facial recognition allows you to do something so suddenly you know you get a whole uh uh, you get a whole level of privilege or a level of underprivilege all based around uh, who you are or what you've paid. Or the concept of the social credit score um, that's uh, that's been infamous, infamously um, uh, shown um, in terms of um, elevating your exactly. ability to do things. Exactly. And, and, you know, look, Facebook effectively and, and Google use very similar methods for similar commercial aims. It's an interesting um, uh, <clears throat> argument too, just from the point of view that um, you know uh, we predominantly give up so much information anyway um, um, in on social media sites, etc. And then on the but on the other hand, people will get upset about other things where they're being tracked, which I've always found an interesting dynamic um, in the whole discussion. Well, I think it's because you know, as, as we've often said, and, and and we've reviewed this sort of thing. When when you post to social media, because you're posting to social media, you feel like it's it's intimate. It's just into your phone. You don't realise it comes out potentially out of every other phone in the world. Mm. You know, uh, you know, it's 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 one of those things. We saw uh, an incident where someone left an Instagram camera on at a night out uh, the other week and someone got caught doing something that she shouldn't have been, Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, a lot of people see that and all it takes is one person to see it, screen grab it, and then the whole world sees it again and again Mm -hmm. and again and again. And, you know, while facial recognition technologies are just that, Every time you put your face into a camera in this day and age, and we've got the new Facebook glasses out now as well, you know, as soon as that happens, you just effectively are priming yourself for facial recognition by humans and by machines. 